What is up Yu-Gi-Oh fans, I am Klaus the Joker and today is the Friday Fun Day video and as a lot of you are known, it is the also the Q&A video plus the giveaway announcement video for the Solemn Strike. So, I'm going to try and answer these questions as quickly as I can. I'm going to say the first thing that comes to mind and I'm sorry if I don't know the answer to the question because of something that it's just I don't know a lot about. So let's just get right into these questions and the first question I've got, now I am going to be looking over to my screen, you know, over here, that's why my head might go this way, because I've screenshotted all the questions so I can just easily read them right here. So the first question I have is, what do I look like under the mask and, you know, so I can have an idea until you reveal yourself. So this person wants me to, you know, I kind of try to guess myself, you know, Tell them or try to explain what I look like. Now, I was going to do a 200 subscriber, you know, face reveal when I hit that point, or when the other video hit 50 likes, I was going to gladly, you know, do a face reveal and all that. But, you know, you guys are just so awesome, and a lot of you have been asking for this, so why not? Today is the day that I'm going to do the face reveal, so let's get right into it. Now, I'm just going to fix up this mask, you know. Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Ah! Ha! Gotcha! I am Deadpool. Yes! The person under the mask had all this time has been Deadpool. Gotcha? No, nah, I'm just messing with this. No, I am going to do a face reveal. I just want to do that because, um, sorry if it annoyed anyone. Um, I just want to have some fun. But no, this is the real face reveal. You know, this is who I am. I'm um, sorry for my hair. Underneath the mask, it does get messy. So, this is who I am. I am Troy. Uh, that's my real name. Um, I guess you can call me the Joyki, though. You can call me Omo Baka. That was originally my gamer tag name, but you can really call me anything you want, just as long as it's really nice. So, yes, this is who I am, and hopefully all you guys like it. Now, my voice does change a little bit, as some people have noticed, I guess, um, because the more excited I get, the more my voice changes. I don't know why, it's just one of those things. So, I'm going to be happily asking... Us, uh, sorry, bleh, answering all these questions, and yes, I might stuff up a few times as you just saw, um, but I'm gonna try to, you know, answer these questions as quickly and, you know, as hopefully accurate as possible. So, the first question was, of course, the face reveal. This question is, has you, sorry, yes, has there ever been a situation where you consider the internet as a serious business? Now, there's been multiple occasions where I've believed that the internet is a serious business because, you know, you can get a lot of money from it. If you're a YouTuber, you can get business from it. Some people make it their entire life. So yes, I do believe it's a serious business. Next question, do you have, uh, sorry, do you ever look at a, any DD related Yu-Gi-Oh card and think it means double D as in breast size DD warrior lady, for example? Now, I originally, I will admit when I was younger, I did think that I had a very dirty mind. I still do, as a lot of people probably have. Um, I did originally think that. Hell, with some animes when they've got DD in their title, I still sometimes think that. But that's just me. Um, does Ask Anything include information which may be deemed too personal and private to normally let people know? Now, of course, you can pretty much ask me anything within reason. Don't ask me, like, what's my love life or what's this and try to bring in so much personal things. That's why I wore the mask for a really long time because I didn't want to bring in my personal life into all this. Um, I was also kind of scared that a lot of people wouldn't like me. Um, I'm actually really thrilled that a lot of people do, and that's why I decided, you know, I'm going to do a whole face reveal. So hopefully you guys like me even more now. Um, now we've got some questions of names and all this. What do you know about Alistair Crowley? What do you know about Anton Levy? What do you know about HP Blavatsky? And what do you know about Albert Pike? Now I said all of them at the same time because the answer for all of them is, I really don't know them. Um, I think one of them is a satanic guy? I I think it's either Anton Levy or Alistair Crowley. And I remember it starting with an A. Um, something my mate once told me. Uh, one of the others I think is a sergeant. It sounds like a sergeant's name, I don't know. I, I really don't know, I'm really sorry. Um, and what do you know about Walt Disney? Well, Walt Disney is pretty much the creator of Disney, ain't he? Everyone knows about Walt Disney. Um, and, you know, he was a racist, apparently, to Jews, and one of the theories is that his body is cryogenically frozen underneath the statue in, you know, Disneyland. So, there's one thing. Uh, what do you know about historic symbolism? Symbolism in general, uh, hidden things. 
What do you know about subliminal messaging? Once again, it's just hiding things in plain sight and tricking people into believing different things. What do you know about psychological warfare? Um, it is the most messed up thing. You know, you're, meant to, you're damaging someone's mind and it has actually been deemed unallowed to a lot of different countries. What do you know about the media? You know, different things about the media. I don't exactly know where you want me to go with that. Um, but a lot of people in the media are crazy, idiot, and believe anything they read. Um, what do you know about people selling their soul? Bart Simpson did it in The Simpsons, I guess. Um, I did it with a friend once. I didn't really think it was a big thing. Uh, what do you know about manipulation and control over public opinion to... God, you guys just made me think, don't you? <laughs> uh, and influence the masses. Okay, so really nothing. Uh, people manipulate everyone every day. Um, it just happens. I'm really sorry. Uh, and what do you know about propaganda? Just the thing, really. I don't know how to really answer that. I'm really sorry. And what do you know about Hitler? You know, everyone knows about Hitler. It's the same thing as Walt Disney. Um, I've heard theories about him. Uh, the fact that he didn't actually commit suicide and all that. He went to being a sheep farmer and all that. But, you know, he was a really bad dude regardless. What do you know about free masonry? Never heard of it, sorry. What do you know about secret societies? They're a secret, of course. That that's why they're called that. Um, what do you know about cover-ups? Government's doing it every single day. Uh, that's why we got Area 51. I'm sorry. Shh. The real name is Area 52. Area 51 is the cover-up for Area 52. There's the truth. Um, what do you know about false flags? Nothing really. What do you know about predictive programming? Once again, nothing. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm just answering these questions as honestly and as quickly as possible uh, for all of you guys. What do you know about lies told by the system, if any, the government's lying every single day? Like, it, this, I could talk for 30 hours on just the lies. Like, every word that comes out of the government's mouth, I guarantee 50% of it is a lie. Um, what do you know about the Matrix? We're living in it. No. Um, you know, you take the red pill or you take the blue pill. That That's the whole Matrix. I've watched the movies. Three is terrible. Um, I should have stopped at two. One was awesome, and people believe that we are actually in the Matrix. I'm going to use the word Sheldon Cooper used of the fact we are not in the Matrix, because if we were, the food would taste a lot better. Um, what do you know about the New Age? People are welcoming it. What do you know about spirituality? People believe in it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you know about the New World Order? It's been happening for ages. Like, the New World Order is always going to be coming around. What do you know about chemtrails? Nothing. Never heard of it. Sorry. What do you know, and I'm going to pretty much smash through the ones that I really don't know anything about. What do you know about HRRP? Never heard of it. What do you know about shills? I think that's a really bad thing. I, I, if I'm thinking of it correctly, I think that's when you manipulate people. Uh, what do you know about big YouTube shills with lots of subscribers that claim to be all the truth and tell half-truths just to gain credibility so people believe them so legitimately and fear-mongering and name them? The bad? I don't know. I don't know anyone that does it, but if you're doing it, like, that's a really bad thing. What do you know about 9-11? There are so many conspiracy theories about 9-11 that I could once again talk about for ages. You know, it was an inside job. The plane never actually hit the building. Um, there was bombs inside the building, and that's why it collapsed the way it did. What do you know about the, about the music industry? Nothing. I don't plan to go into it, but, um, the music that coming out these days, I don't personally like it. I'm more feeling like I was born in the wrong era. Like, I was born in the right era for gaming, and Yu-Gi-Oh, but for music, I'm stuck back in the 80s and 90s for myself. Uh, what, what do you know about the entertainment industry? Same thing, nothing really. Uh, what do you know about Rothschild and Rockefellers? I believe both of them are a family. I don't know what they did, though. And what do you know about Anonymous? Nothing. I don't know about anything about Anonymous. They are nice people. Please do not shut me down. That's what I know. <laughs> um, and yes, I'm just saying the random things that come to mind, you know, I like having fun and that's why I'm always pretty much smiling. Uh, what do you know about conspiracy, what conspiracies do you know slash believe are true? As I said, I know a lot about conspiracies, um, I read into a lot of them, uh, the whole Area 51, that's one I really strongly believe in, I do believe that there is life outside of there, so that's one theory I do believe in. Uh, another one is lizard people, I used to believe in this for a really long time, I started to not believe in it so much because Lizard people are supposed to be these advanced human beings, and I feel like if we've got them out there, we would be a lot better.
Like, they're actually smart, but we've got Donald Trump in charge, so, you know, maybe lizard people aren't a thing. Uh, what do you know about MKUltra, mind control pretty much experiment? What do you know about the government funding assassinations? It helps them get elected because people, you know, vote for them for still sorry and all that. What do you know about voting? It's all rigged. Oh, so it's either rigged or people are going to get an idiot in charge. It's, it's just that, in my opinion. What do you know about freedom of choice? Not many people have it, of course. What do you know about Harry Potter's movie uh, slash book series? Um, I know a lot about the movies because I've seen all of them, but I've never read the books apart from The Cursed Child. Uh, what do you know about the atheist movement and existence of atheist? Atheist movement, I believe, is something that's pushing it on. I, as I said, I'm just thinking of the first thing that comes to mind and trying to remember what I've read in the past. And what do you know about the existence of atheists with that? I used to be an atheist for a really long time. I don't... I still don't believe in God because of all the bad things that have happened in life. You know, if that's God's will, like, he must not really be a nice guy. I know a lot of people are religious. I'm not judging you um, because that's not what I'm about. I'm not judging or saying anything bad. That's just the first thing that comes to mind, you know. If there is a God, he must be a really mean person if he's willing to do all this to people. So that's just my opinion, but everyone's entitled to their own and all that. Uh, what do you know about the feminist movement and... Do you know who created it? I don't know who created it. Feminist movement, I don't know anything about. I just know about feminism and that they want people, everything equal, but the ones that don't want everything equal, but they want it to the way of women, of getting everything, that's just not right. Uh, what do you know about NEMLA? Nothing. What do you know about the gay marriage movement? I support it completely because I want gay marriage equality and all that, um, because I completely support it. What do you know about the homosexual agenda? That's when... You know, people believe that it's homosexuals pushing it onto each other, and people blame that homosexuals is something that's forced onto people. It's not. It is a. It is not a choice. It's something you're born with. I don't know why people judge. You know, to me, I don't judge people for what they are. I judge them for how they act. Like, if you're a negative person, I don't want anything to do with you. But if you're accepting, I'll welcome you as my friend. Um. So that's just my opinion on that with the home homosexual gender. It's people are seeing it the wrong way and all that. What do you know about the Bible? I read the Bible um, a little bit, but there are so many flaws in it for me. I don't like going into the whole religious thing because that's what starts arguments and all that in my opinion, so I don't want to get... I'm just... There are a few religious questions here, so I'm just going to try and quickly get over them as quick as I can. What do you know about religion? People believe in it. Uh, I'm not going to judge them. What, do you, what are your religious beliefs? Now, I did say that I used to be atheist. I'm not atheist anymore. I found out that I'm actually agnostic because I do believe there is life out there. We cannot be the only people here. I just don't believe that there is a God or anything that, you know, and all the Bibles and all that. I mean, there, I definitely believe something's out there, but I don't believe in the whole religious thing. That's just not what I read into. Uh, what is your opinion on the gay agenda? I pretty much just explained that before, you know, like, I support gay marriage and all that, but, you know, I don't believe people are forcing it onto each other. What do you know about traditional sat uh, Satanism? Nothing. I don't go into the whole religious thing or anything like that. I did read the Satanic Bible a little bit once, and one of the passages that I liked was that do whatever you want that makes you happy. So that's what Satan believes, apparently. Uh, what do you know about Catholicism and Paganism? Nothing. I... I don't really know anything about them, um, that, like, if I say something, I would probably say the wrong thing, so, really, I don't know anything that's smart or anything like that. Uh, did you know that there is a Bible passage that anonymously tricks, sorry, that anonymous trick anonymous followers into base themselves on the unknown, no, I don't know anything about that, like, anonymous equals satanic and all this, like, I, all these questions about, like, do you know anything about the Bible of believing in this? No, I didn't read into it. Um, what do you know about are not that Anonymous were created by the very system that corrupted they're supposed to be against? Um, if you're talking about the computer program, as I said, I don't want to get into them because I don't want to piss them off. Um, what do you know about Dive and Conquer? Nothing. What do you know about Charles Darwin faking fossil, attaching a monkey's jaw bone to a human skull to try and use the evidence that his theory is true. I heard about it, but I don't really know much about it. Uh, did you know that Charles Darwin was a 33 degree Freemason and did not believe in his own theory? I actually didn't, no. Um, that's probably why he must have faked it. 
What do you know about Saturn? It's a planet. Uh, what do you know about sun worship slash sun praise? Nothing really. I mean, the Egyptians worship the sun, but that's about it. Uh, well, sorry, the sun gods. What do you know about the art of hiding in plain sight? Ninjas do it all the time. Uh, as I said, I'm just going to answer these. If I answer any of these offensively, I want to say this right now that I'm really sorry. I'm just saying the first thing that comes to my head. Uh, what do you know about mass and weapons of mass destruction? There are many terms of this. Number one, Robert, uh, sorry, Robin Williams, his comedian show that I still watch this day, despite the fact that he passed, I still love watching his stuff. I don't cry because he passed. I crack up laughing because he brought so much joy to this world, and that's what I hopefully want to bring to everyone else because that's the way I want to live life, you know, enjoy it to its fullest extent. Uh, weapons of mass destruction, you know, the government makes it every day. And third is if someone fights, that's a weapon of mass destruction. You know, if they just had something really bad, evacuate the building. Don't risk it. If they've got a lighter behind them, run. Don't risk it. <laughs> uh, did you know that George Bush lied when he said that he's seen the first plane crash into the WTC live on TV because only the second plane strike was recorded live and the first strike was not aired on TV until TV, uh, sorry, until 12 hours or more after it happened. No, I did not know that. Uh, what do you know about political boogeyman and scapegoats? They use them to trick us and, you know, hide the truth. What do you know about Monsanto and GMOs? Nothing really. I, I'm thinking of different things, but, you know, what do you know about vaccines? No, everyone takes them, but I believe that you should because, you know, unless you're, like, really, really bad, like, you got to be able to fix your disease and all that, um, not get sick because that help that doesn't help everyone else. What do you know about the Mark of the Beast? Never heard of it. Um, I believe it's a satanic thing, though. That sounds like a satanic thing. What do you know about occultism? Uh, nothing, really. Um, I believe I know that there's occults and all that, but I don't know enough to really go into it. Did you know that Seto Kaiba is based off Seth, who is based off Bale or Nimrod? No, I've never heard of them, so I... <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Uh, what do you know about the Pinal Glade? I don't know. I think I'm reading that wrong. Did you know occult teachings reveal the spirituality of the Pinal Glade is a demonic doorway to another realm? I did not know that. I'm sorry. I... You're teaching me a lot of things. Um... What do you know about the Illuminati? They're hiding in plain sight. Um, once again, it's not something I would get into because, like Anonymous and all that, they're, if they really do exist, um, you know, they can ruin everything. But there's also a thing that it's all tricking us and it's hiding from the truth. But I do know that if you type in Ill Illuminati backwards into your computer, it comes up with a government-owned website. So that's kind of weird. And what do you know about wordplay? That a lot of people have clever wordplay. Um... What do you think of the song In the Words of Satan by the Arrows? What's your opinion on it after listening to it? Now, I tried to listen to the song. I really did. I gave it 30 seconds, and the voices was literally that bad. This is not my kind of music, so I'm really sorry, but I could not listen to it. It was just, ugh. Um, but if you like it, you know, that's your personal choice. I mean, I listen to stuff that a lot of people don't like, so, you know, um, that's just me. What do you know about excluding anything mentioned in this comment? Not sure what you're going on with that. Uh, what is your opinion on me excluding based off the stuff in the comment? Good slash bad opinions are welcomed. Don't know. What do you know about false? What do you... Uh, sorry. Do you know what false flags means? As I said before, I don't even know what they are. Um, do you know what predictive programming is? I think you... I answered this before. I, as I said, I don't know what it is. Some 9-11 questions. Oh, God. Um... How did the black box in them planes that in... Yeah, as, with all these questions about 9-11, um, the black box not being actually found, but other things were found, you know, it's a weird coincidence, but I don't really know the answers. Uh, how did George Bush apparently see it? Like, maybe he was in with it. There's so many conspiracies. Why is there no such media coverage on it? Um, honestly, I think the news and all that just want to hide it from us. They don't want all that in us, so they just try to hide it. Are you trying to seduce me? Maybe. No. Uh, who framed Rod Rabbit? Oh, I can't remember that villain. I was actually going to say the name of that villain. Um, I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> who killed Captain Alex? I don't even know who that is. Um, where's Waldo? Under my bed. I killed him. Shh. No. Um, 
Do you spit or sp swallow? No, neither. Because <laughs> I don't do that. Um, what is your credit card number? Seven. Um, <laughs> do you even lift more than you? Uh, do you have Battletoads? If that's the Nintendo game, hell yes. I haven't played that in ages though. Has anyone really been fair even as decided to use... Even do you... What the... F I must be reading this wrong. I'm really sorry for how long this is going. And are you perplex? I don't even know what that means. Uh, so, no. I don't know either of those answers. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card called Nurse Ref Kill the Fallen One. Oh, this is one of my favorite cards. Because I love Nurse Burn. Uh, Nurse Revicule equals Lucifer written backwards. Shit. Um, also, the Fallen One. Do you know what the Fallen Ones are? Yes, they are the angels that have fallen from grace. Um, like, Lucifer was one for hating humans. Uh, are Konami's money hungry Jews or Konami or are Konami Nazis? They're evil people that want our money, I believe. Um, but we fall for it and we still do it. Hell, I still do it. I've, I'm spending about 200 near on $300 on my dream deck that I've spent three years trying to build, and I'm just hoping Konami doesn't ban the deck. Why are there so many anime fags in the community? That must be a really mean question. Um, with anime fags, I don't think that's the right terminology. I personally love anime. Um, it's absolutely amazing, but oh, this person's actually talking about the weeaboos are cancer. So, if you're a weeaboo, I don't, to me, um, that's a really bad thing, like, if you're committed to being a different religion, I do know that some people are actually offended by it, but, you know, if that's what, how you want to live your life, I'm not going to judge, of course. Uh, what's the next one? What is your opinion on political correctness and word policing? No idea. Uh, about whatever you want, I don't care. Uh, are you politically correct? I'd like to think so, but I'm probably not all the time. What are your religious beliefs and do you change them? to try not to offend other people. Now, my religious beliefs, as I said, is I'm agnostic. I believe something is out there. I'm going to read into other things, as I always do. Um, I don't change them. I say what I mean. Like, I may say it a little bit nicer, though. If I go to talk up to a religious people, like, if you're a religious, I'm not going to say, that's completely wrong. That's so wrong. That's not allowed and all that. That, to me, is just not a way to live life. Um, I accept people for who they are. Um, you know... And I don't judge them for anything like that. I more judge on what you do and not how you live your life, but the way you live your life. If you live it in negativity, I don't want that in my life. But that's just me. Uh, what is your opinion on positive opinions? And what is your opinion on negative opinions? I welcome positive opinions. If you're positive, that's absolutely great. With negative opinions, um, I take it as, you know just, you know, advice and all that, um, if you've got a negative opinion on anything I've done, if I've said this a really long time, which I went to 23 minutes, I'm really sorry for that, I, there's just a lot of questions to ask, and I do know there's a lot of people here for the Q&A, but be patient, you know, I'm just, when the right question comes along, that's when I'm going to do the Q&A, uh, sorry, not the Q&A, the giveaway, as I said, uh, this is first taken, I'm not going to retake this a thousand times, because, First things come to mind, it's always usually best, and that's how I like to do my videos. So, you know, if you've got a negative opinion, um, try to please put it in a polite way, but then, you know, if someone's an asshole, then completely do a negative opinion, because they don't deserve your niceness. Uh, what was the, sorry, when and what was the last nut you busted? I don't eat nuts. <laughs> um, do you think, oh, here's a Yugo question. Do you think that true Drakeys are dead without dynamite knuckle? Sadly, no. As much as I want the Draco decks to be dead, I am sick and tired of seeing them. Yes, it is something that annoys me. I do know that love, a lot of people love playing them. But that is one deck I am not probably ever going to profile on this channel simply because I don't like it that much. I feel that I'm hated so much when I play it. Hell, I know that when I play Nurse Burn, I'm going to be hated. But it's at least a deck that I really love. But True Dracos, I just want them to die already. I'm sick and tired of seeing them. Um, they're not dead, you know. There are so many different ways you can play them, but, like, there are so many ways you can still lose to them, and they just do a lot of their plays on your turn, which is super annoying. So, yeah, that's... They're not dead, but they're super annoying. Uh, how do you sort your commons? This is a question by Yugi. Okay. Uh, how do you suit, sort your commons? Um... I used to, for a really long time, just put them in a box. Here's my monsters, here's my spells, here's my traps. 
Then I started selling them for 100 cards for $10. Now it's just all in a box somewhere, and I mainly just, you know, sort all my rares. Uh, what And what tech cards do you think will be good for this format? Now I'm just going to say the first ones that come to mind. Um, Mind Control is a good one because you can take their Link Monster user as your own Link material. Of course you want to have basic protection and all that. Hand Traps is essential, so you want Ghost Ogre and all that. Back removal like Twin Twisters, so those kind of tech cards. Always useful. Pretty much it just depends on what you're going up against. Um, spirals are becoming big, so just stuff to get over them would be really helpful. Uh, you know, you want to get rid of their field spell, which is Twin Twist to get rid of that. You want to get rid of their main monsters, so you can either Dark Hole and Regeki. So they're always the main tech cards you want to be using in your decks when you're able to get them. Uh, and that's just that. Uh, the Joker. Oh, I have a question. Q&A question. What is your favorite horror movie? Oh. Uh, my favorite horror movie, trying to narrow it down, is extremely hard. Like, I love so many different horror movies. I love Pennywise in It, you know, because it's clowns. I love Chucky because he's the only doll horror movie I actually like. I love Freddy Krueger because he's trolly. I love Jason because that's one of the horror movies I was brought up with. Plus, it is Friday the 13th today, so if I had a Jason mask, like, I would seriously be wearing that right now. But, I gotta say, my favourite horror movie, because he is my favourite horror character, and to prove it, I've actually got a tattoo of him, that's why I'm standing up. Uh, i got to stand up on the couch. Is Michael Myers, like, this guy is absolutely insane. If you have seen the movie Halloween, um, I absolutely love that movie. And you know what? I have a mask right here. I have the Halloween mask right here. And yes, paper just fell out and has just landed on my lap. Because this is where I'm going to be doing the cure. This is where I'm going to be doing the giveaway. So, you know, just going to pick up all the names here. Sorry, one fell under the table. Um, this is where, you know, going to find out who the winner of the giveaway it is. I've picked up all the pace, people, sorry, people's papers and all that. As you can see, they're all in there. Pulling it for the Michael Myers thing. Uh, thank Monolith TCG for asking this question because this is the time I'm doing the giveaway. Now, I've still got so many questions to ask. And that's what I'm going to get into. But this is for the Solemn Strike winner of the giveaway. Um, I feel like Dumbledore. Like, oh, picking a random piece of paper. So here we go. I don't know who that is. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh. There we go. That is the winner. Yugi19065. So, Yugi19065, you have exactly 24 hours from this video being uploaded to either comment down below. Uh, Yugi1905... Sorry, 65 also has me on Discord, so make sure to message me on that. If you do not message me within 24 hours, though, I will be redoing this poll, you know, and potentially someone else could win the giveaway. So make sure you do comment down below so that you can, you know, receive your prize of the Storm Strike. Still going with the questions, though, so that's the winner of the Storm Strike. Sorry to everyone else. I don't know when I'm going to do a giveaway next. Uh, hopefully it's soon, but, you know, uh, when I'm able to, as... I've now got ads in my video. I know I'm literally getting cents, but if I can save up some of that money, I might be able to do a giveaway, or there might be a giveaway once I hit 200 subscribers. I really don't know when I'll do one, but, you know, it's always random. Like, this giveaway was completely random. Uh, moving on to the questions, though. What, where did you get the mask? I actually got it from Cheapest Chips for, like, 10 bucks. Like, this mask, I got for 10 bucks. Then I got the wig for, like, uh, 5 bucks. So, yeah, 20 bucks for a mask. Pretty great. Um, my other mask though, like my Michael Myers, I got it from Comic-Con, same with my Deadpool mask, I got it from Comic-Con. I go to Comic-Con that much that, you know, I just get different decks, uh, different masks, and half the time I just get some Yu-Gi-Oh cards there. Uh, there we go. What cards or decks do you personally don't like to go up against, like, what's your Yu-Gi-Oh kryptonite? Draco, uh, Dracos, like, I hate them so much, uh, I really do. Um, second deck would probably be a stool deck that pretty much just negates everything I try and do, that's really annoying, I, like, pretty much Dracos do that, but that's pretty much I have Kryptonite, um, any deck that really gets around Nurse Burns so much to destroying their back row and all that, I do know that a lot of decks do it, don't really do it, but, you know, there are some out there that do it, and those are just the decks I don't like. What is your favorite archetype slash deck? Now, my favorite archetype is Toons, but my favorite deck is Nurse Burn. What is your, uh, what card... I'm sorry, what is a card you want banned, limited, or semi-limited? There are two cards right now I want banned, right now. 
Ash Blossom because it is an expensive card and everyone that runs it on Dueling Book probably doesn't have it in real life, which is really annoying to see, but that's just me. Like, I don't like seeing that card because it's, I run Nurse Burn, it's really annoying. And the second card would be Droll and Lockbird if I had to pick because, once again, it just stops my, it really slows down my deck and I don't like facing it. So if I had to pick, like, those two cards, uh, what deck are you going to play, uh, run in this Spiral format? Hopefully from my TCG player, they're sending the cards over soon, so I'm going to be playing Nurse Burn as soon as I get all those cards. Being fair, what is the card you would like unlimited or brought back to one or two? Um, there are so many different cards. Like, being fair, uh, Upstart Goblin. That, that's the one. It would have to be Upstart Goblin. I would want it unlimited because I do know that a lot of Exodia decks will run it and all that. And yes, I would abuse it in my Nurse Burn deck. But honestly, it gives your opponent a thousand. There are so many ways you can stop those decks. So if you're able to, you know, I feel as if it should come back. We've got so many tra hand traps like Ash Blossom, like... If they don't ban Ash Blossom, bring us back Upstart Goblin, um, and all that. But that's just my opinion. Uh, okay, here's a lot of questions. What's your favorite old booster set? Uh, I can't actually think of my favorite. My favorite old booster set, um, it's, I can't remember the name of it, but it had a lot of the tunes, like the Pegasus packs and all that. Like, anything to do with tunes, I absolutely loved. I know they, they weren't really that great, but, you know, um... Before they got revamped and all that, but still they were great to me. Do you play any older formats? Not really. I play always new. I don't play GOAT format or anything like that. What's your most prized card and will you never get rid of it? I have one prized main card because it was given to me by my girlfriend. I nagged her and we went to a shop one day for an hour. We st stand at the stall. I picked out all these different cards and she actually bought them for me. So those cards I'll never get rid of, but the main card from all of that is Pudding Snest. Like, I will never get rid of that card because the, the name, the fact that sh she got it for me, so of course I'll never get rid of that card. What's your favorite movie? I don't... <sighs> favorite movie, that's so hard. Um, I don't really have one favorite movie. I have so many different ones, like I love Terminator, I love Suicide Squad, despite the fact that the villains weren't that great. Um, well, I mean, like... You choosing humans to go up against gods. That to me was kind of redundant, but you know, that's just me. Waffles or pancakes? Chocolate pancakes. Yep, I, I made them like really chocolatey. That's my choice. Uh, what do you do with your commons? I sell them or I just, you know, I turn them into Zek boxes. I, I give them to random people sometimes. I do anything with them. I don't know. Uh, what is your favorite deck to play? Nurse Burn, of course. What decks do you think need a Link Monster? Toons, Fluffles, um, Dark Magicians, because I don't care, Spellcaster Link would be absolutely amazing. DDDs, for my DDD people in my team, pretty much any of them. Um, what's the competitive viability convulsions of nature? I have no idea. Like, <laughs> I love how all these questions are Yu-Gi-Oh! and then it's like that. It's like, what? I don't know. Uh, what type of Pendulum Monster... Would you want to see first a trap pendulum or a link pendulum? No idea. I want to see a tomb pendulum. <laughs> um, honestly. Do you have any advice for a new YouTuber? Now, my advice is simply this. Like, I got all you people to subscribe, which is absolutely amazing, in two months. The only advice I have is be positive as I am. Um, you know, really engage with the audience. I try to, as I said, comment underneath every single one of your comments because that's what I love to do. I love to be engaged. Do what your audience really wants to see. Don't always do what you want. I, uh, but, you know, like, I do challenge decks because that's what I love to do. I do the decks that you guys request because it always throws me in a loop. Although I do use Dueling Book a lot, you know, if you've got the cards to be able to do the deck itself, then definitely do the deck. But if you don't, you know, still help your fans because that's what really matters. Uh, what is the worst deck in Yu-Gi-Oh? Now, this is all personal choice. Um, my personal... Ooh, what is the worst deck in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, my personal least favorite deck to play is anything that can't pull off, you know, an OTK. Anything that's like one monster at a time. So, Elemental Heroes, pure Elemental Heroes, not using any of the other cards. 
just that is got to be the worst deck in Yu-Gi-Oh, um, in my opinion. If, if you can play that in a successful way, then it's absolutely great. But when you're playing a pure deck and it's not even a great pure deck, that's when the decks aren't really that great. So that's my opinion, the worst decks in Yu-Gi-Oh kind of thing. Uh, are you planning on buying Circuit Break packets or going to the Sneak Peek? I'm actually not. Um, I was really planning for a really long time to go to the Sneak Peek. I thought this packet was having the Magi Bullets. That's why I thought, you know, I'll go. But looking at all the packets, like, there's nothing really of value to me. Um, so I'm not going to be picking up those packets. Same thing with the Legend of... Uh, Legend decks that have come out, you know, the Dark Magician, the Cybers, and, um, Odd Eyes. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. Yes, the Odd Eyes. I'm not picking up that, um, because over here, where it costs $60, and the only card I actually want from all those things, there's actually three cards, the Drowning Mirror Force, the, uh, Illusion Magician Girl, uh, sorry, Apprentice Illusion Magician Girl for a Dark Magician Girl deck, and... That new Cyber Dragon Fusion card because it'd be wicked in my Toon deck. There are a few combos. Although I really won't use that much. It's just a nice card to have there. But, you know, I'm not really planning on getting them anytime soon. Now, that's actually it. That's the last question. Um, I know this went for a really long time. If you stayed till this point of time, you're absolutely amazing. You're absolutely incredible. And I have some actually wicked news that I want to bring up. Um, one of the channels I am subscribed to... Now, I don't collab with this person, of course, but I still want to give, like, a decent shout-out. Duelist Den, his links to his channel, but mainly the video I want to be talking about right now will be in the comment, uh, will be in the description down below. And what he's actually doing is he's going to be doing a tournament, which I am going to be really soon entering. Um, I want to get in on this if I'm able to, you know, transfer the money in a way that doesn't cost me so much, because when you transfer to another country and all that, it can cost you extra money. But if it doesn't do that for me, you know... I want to be entering this tournament. The prizes are actually pretty cool. So, you know, who knows when that tournament starts going, that could be ending up being the Friday fun videos of, you know, this is me in the tournament. Uh, hopefully I win. Now that is actually it for this video. You know, the Solemn Strike giveaway video. This is, as I said, is going to Yugi19065. You know, if you are Yugi19065, what you're going to do is just simply... Comment down below that you are him, um, or message me on Discord, as I know that you have before, um, and simply just send me the address that you want me to send this card to, and I'll try and send it off as quick as I can. However, if you, as I said, do not respond within 24 hours of this video being up, you know, I will redo the giveaway, so if this person doesn't respond, um, there is a chance that someone else could potentially win the giveaway. So, you know, who knows what happens with that. But as I said, that is actually it for this video. I do hope that you all enjoyed it, um, that you did enjoy the face reveal of who I actually am. And don't worry, the mask isn't going to be, you know, it's not going to be, keep on putting it back on. No, I'm not going to be doing that um, anymore. I'm going to be doing much more face-to-face -face because that's what I love to do. And I really want to engage with all of you guys. And as I've said in previous videos, if you guys want me to make any deck profile videos, if you've got any tips you want me to give you, simply comment down below. Of course, I'll be happy to help you. But that, of course, ends it for this video. And, of course, I am the Joker, signing off.